Sunday, uh, June 2nd, 2019. I'm going to be up here all week. Uh, I don't have vacation or anything. I'm working remote. Hang on. Got a, got a tick on me. That's great. Ah, fuck. All right, it's Sunday, June 2nd, 2019. I'm going to be up here all week. Uh, I'm working remotely this week from the cabin, and I'm going to be working remote uh, a lot uh, in the foreseeable future. So, uh, there's a lot of rain in the forecast this week, which is less than ideal, because I want to get stuff done on the roof. Um, I need a... I, I haven't done anything with the roof since the snow melted. i got to get the tarps off, um, and then work on the flashing and everything that needs to get done, or the trim. You know, stuff that needs to get done before I can put the, the metal panels on. So I hope to get the roof at least prepped uh, this week. Also, uh, since I'm working remote, it's very important that I'm able to work remote comfortably, that I have all the electricity that I need, and all the um, Wi-Fi that I need. So, uh, part of today, part of this trip is setting up the cabin for improved Wi-Fi, improved service. Uh, let's see. These two, there we go. Those two white things back there, those are antennas that are hooked up to um, an LTE hotspot. So I got a new uh, service plan through AT&T, 50 gigabytes a month and cell service isn't always that great up here when it's overcast and there's leaves on the trees. Those two little guys uh, make the service great. They're there temporarily. Uh, I think their final resting place is going to be up on that beam um, under the porch. So I'm going to work on that area today. Right there is a uh, 2 by 4 that's been, you know, temporarily there supporting the roof for uh, the last year. That's coming out. I'm trying to get, it's like looking in a mirror. Okay. Um, and there's a 4x4 four four in the porch that's going to go in its place uh, permanently. So, other than those things, I've got a long list of things to get done, as always pick my favorite stuff and work through some of it. It's now Thursday. <sighs> Catch my breath. Restart. <clears throat> it's now Thursday. Uh, been busy. Haven't gotten to anything really on the roof though because it's been raining in the evenings. And, um, of course I've been working during the day. But I've got that pull up on the porch. Uh, Few other things I'll point out. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and get a closer look. Alright, I got that 4x4 four four support up there and the uh, when I took the 2x4 out uh, there was no tension on it which means of course that the roof isn't putting any pressure down onto that beam. I'm sure it will eventually when things settle or when there's freaking three four feet of snow on the roof um, but for now that's good because I've been trying to decide whether or not to put a beam in the center down to the porch so that there's support you know all the way from the top of the roof straight down to the ground I'd rather not because I feel it'll be in my way in the way of the view it'll you know just block things but in the future if that beam ever starts to sag I can I can add more support. Um, I got my cellular antennas up there, pointed, of course, right at uh, where there's a tower a few miles away. Gets me some pretty good service. Uh, the wire, got some pretty thick wire on there. So there's wire coming from those antennas. Goes down and hooks up to my mobile hotspot. That's why I'm connected to the internet. So the wire's pretty thick uh, so that 
so I don't get much loss of the signal because of course the the longer the wire um, the more loss you're going to have but if it's the thicker the wire the less loss so it's a balancing act um, want to have the wire as short as possible and as you know as thick as you can go I'm gonna have to drill some holes somewhere to get that wire into the cabin but for now this thing's doing just fine sitting on the porch. I have the wire all zip tied on there for now. That's temporary. I'll have to get some proper uh, electrical staples or hooks and secure that you know, more permanently. But it's doing its job. Let's walk around to the back of the cabin because I've got something new back there. Mm -hmm. A window. So that's the final window. That is the bathroom. Even that little window helps a ton with getting more light in the inside. See? Told you. So it helps if I unlock it. So that's my only window um, in the back of the cabin, other than the one in the loft. It's kind of nice just to have a view back, to see back there. If you're wondering about my work setup, here it is. Uh, nothing crazy. Got my two monitors, keyboard, mouse, everything hooked up to. Everything running off a laptop over here. Um, headset for phone calls. And uh, that's where the magic happens during the day. And then when I'm done working, go outside and do more work. Over the, uh, the months and years, uh, many of you have uh, Over the months and years, uh, many of you have told me how much you enjoy watching these videos, uh, and I very much appreciate that and appreciate hearing it. Um, so uh, and I've gotten some good feedback too. So what with the feedback I got recently was, let's see, uh, it, it wouldn't hurt if I put a little more energy into my monologues. I don't know if I can make any promises there. I'm, I'm often very, uh, very exhausted when I shoot these videos, but I'll think about it. Uh, also, it was suggested that I could maybe do uh, shout outs. So, all right, here it goes. Ready? Matt. All right, shout out complete. Stay tuned for another one, possibly next time. Um, what else I got? But yeah, I appreciate hearing uh, hearing uh, the the feedback from everyone. So I'll keep making these videos. I started them um, uh, about ten years ago now. Um, really, kind of as a frame of reference for me, <clears throat> which I'm really really glad that I I did that. Um, you know, I wanted to have video of what the forest looked like before I started working on my cabin, and uh, and. I do still enjoy going back and watching those from 10 years ago to see how much has changed. Um, and <clears throat> 10 years, I'll likely be watching this video. And remembering when this edition was just studs and insulation. Um, I mean, geez, who knows what the place will look like in 10 years. I'm sure, I'm sure this. Uh, won't be my last project up here. All right, some more progress. Got the fascia up on one side of the cabin. This stuff, that's new. All stained and done. I've got the fascia for the other side stained. Just gotta get it up there. So, order of operations here. On top of this is going to go uh, metal drip edge. 
And on top of all that, be ready for the, uh, the metal roof panels. So it's still Thursday, but I'm going to head back down to Connecticut because my uh, yearly review for work just got scheduled for tomorrow. And I think it's important that I do that in person. So drive down, go into the Hartford office tomorrow, and then probably be back up here for the weekend. But we'll see. I gotta check the weather. If it's still just gonna, if it's gonna rain a lot, not much sense in coming up.